So I have been working on this series, uh, continuing this series of illuminated pages. So this is the third one in the series, and I'm growing a lot through this experience. So at every stage, I'm finding ways that I want to take it further than I did when I started. So uh, some of those are technical, some of those are design ideas. But uh, as I said before, uh, part of it was the, the use of parchment paper. And so I've been using that 100% cotton vellum at the later the drawing stage. But I have been working on, as you may have seen, some uh, pencil designs and ink for the latest in the series, which is St. Bridget. And I'm not sure which of these two designs. This is the, uh, the first that I drew up, and I was working with some uh, different lettering styles. And then another here. This is St. Bridget, and she's talking about the great lake of beer for the King of Kings. And I just love that because I love beer. And uh, I love that St. Bridget uh, spoke in this way about the, the redemption of creation. Um, and uh, so anyway, I've been working on these designs. And one thing that I discovered was that I'm going to want more out of my pens than I have been able to get so far. So I went to one of my favorite places, the art store. This is, uh, I have a, uh, a Blick art store near me, which is a great thing because I can just go there at any time. And uh, they have a, a nice selection of art supplies. And so after looking around, I thought to begin with, I wanted to use these, I don't know how to pronounce this, Copic or Copic. That's the, uh, the brand name of these inking pens. And this is a four pen set. What I had before, my smallest pen was a uh, 0.5 millimeter. And this is uh, a Pentel pen. And though it's a pretty fine point, and though it worked well, it wouldn't allow me to go to the next level of detail that I really wanted. Uh, so I picked up this set of pens and here they are, the Copic inking pens. And the smallest size for these is 0.1 millimeters. So that's a good deal smaller. Uh, that's uh, rather than 0 0.5, 0 0.1. So, you know, this is uh, several times smaller. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not the smallest one. The smallest one is much smaller than that. So um, the 0.3 is the largest, so smaller than my previous pens. Then the 0 0.1, 0 0.1 millimeters, so a tenth of a millimeter, 0 0.05 millimeters, so half the size of that 0.1, and then 0 0.03 millimeters. So this is that very, very fine point, and uh, I'll be trying these out. The line this makes is, is something like a human hair or maybe finer than a human hair. So I can't wait to try these out. I will show you the results, of course. These are the kind of pens I would use on the final drawing stage, not my design stage, which, um, you might be able to see begins with pencil. There's a lot of pencil sketching and scribbling on there and erasing. And then I do start to ink that uh, because it gives me a clearer picture of how those shapes are working together. And then I will go through other revisions too. So this is a big part of the process. Uh, there's a lot more to it than simply the last stage of, uh, of inking and doing all these great details and things. You really have to have the design fully worked out. And I can't wait to get started on uh, the inking part of this. Meanwhile, I'm still working on these other series and I'll be presenting those to you too, including today I made a little bit of progress on my local food series. So um, I'll be showing that to you soon. Thanks for joining me again. God bless. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.